For this pattern, we're going to need some supplies. We'll need a pair of scissors in order to cut our yarn, a darning needle to weave in any ends. I'm going to be using a four millimeter Tunisian crochet hook. And then we need our two colors, a green for the petals and a red for the body of the strawberries. To begin, we want to start by creating a chain. And our chain is going to be simply in any increment, depending on how big or how small you want your project, of four plus three. So four plus three, and that is the amount that you're gonna need for your chain. Now we're gonna to come to the very beginning. Go in, pull up a loop, and pull up a loop into each chain all the way across. And start with a chain one, <clears throat> then yarn over and pull through two loops at a time all the way until the end. Except for your last two loops. Now we're going to attach our red. Don't pull through your last two. And from here, we do a chain one to start. Then into, so we go one, two, three. Now into this next one, we're gonna put five double crochets. So we go into that loop. So yarn over, go into the loop. Pull up a stitch. Now there's those two loops. Yarn over, go through your two loops. And then do your second. So here you have your five, and then continue going forward to your next one. We're going to do three, one, two, three. Now we're going to repeat this into your next loop here, five double crochets. And then coming in after we did our five, coming in to pull up one loop into your next three. And 
and we'll repeat this until the end. Now here at the end, into your last three. One, two, and three. And then from here, chain one, and then pull through two loops at a time all the way to the start of your project. Now leave your last two, switch back to your green, and pull through. And yes, it's going to be all spirally here. Then from here, with your green, into your next two. So three loops. Now for these, we're going to come in and go in between one, two, three, four, and that fifth. Then one, two, three, four, five. And then chain one. And then back into your next stitch. One, Go through your five and chain one. Then into your next three, just regular. And then once again, here's your five double crochets. So we're gonna bring those together under the loop and in between. Then one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to repeat this until our last cluster. And here we are at the end into our last three stitches here. Just pull up one loop. And come through, chain one, and two loops 
at a time all the way until your last two loops on your hook. Now with our last two loops, switch back to your red. And then from here we have our first loop. Go into your next, so two, three. Fourth one here is going to go right into that top little chain one of that strawberry. And then five. So five loops on our hook. Now we're going to start the base, the five double crochets, into this next stitch right here in the very center. So we're putting the next row of strawberries in the middle. So five double crochets into there. So we have our five, and then we just continue on into our next stitch, one loop, and then our next one right here, it's that very center, two, three, so at our five double crochets, one, two, three, and now into this one, we'll do another five double crochets. And then here's our next stitch, one loop, and then our next right here, two, and three. And now we're just going to repeat this coming all the way down until this last here. And then here at the end, I'm going to work one, two, three, four, five. So we did five just regular stitches at the beginning and five at the end. And then we come through, chain one at the first, and then two stitches at a time, all the way to the very end.
And as a reminder, always while working this project, your last two loops are for switching the color back. So we have our first. Two, three, four, and five. So we got our first five. Now remember our next here is the five double crochets. So go in and to the back, pull up a loop, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, chain one, and then into your next, one, two, Three. Now here we are at the next five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five, chain one, and we're going to follow this all the way to the end. And then here at the end, because we did five at the beginning, so our last pull ups one, two, three. Four, five, and then we're just going to follow back, chain one for the beginning, and then two loops at a time, all the way to the very end, except for your last two. And then on your last two, switch back to your red. Now if you think about this, think of red as row one, the next is two, then three, and four. And we're just going to keep repeating those rows, one through four. So we come in, we've got one loop. Two loop, three loop, and now right into this stitch, we do our five double crochets into there, and then one, two, three, five double crochets into here, and just keep repeating until we get our design created as large or as small as you wish. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, like, let me know in the comment section what you think. And if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button with that bell notification next to it so you can get a heads up every time I post a new video.